Hey friends, this is Gracie and I'm going to show you how to create a, a quote for social media using graphics. And this is Canva at canva.com and these are the different kinds of designs that you can create with Canva. Okay, and right here is why I already have designed. So we're going to design a quote for social media. So I started it here. This is um, your work area. So we're going to start with the text. On this left side, it has all the text that you can use, all the graphics. Uh, it also has backgrounds and an area for you to upload your own images. Okay, and it has tons and tons of pre-made layouts that you can select from. So for now, we're going to start with a blank um, canvas and we're gonna add text. You can select different kinds of um, text, fonts, different kinds of fonts here. Here's an entire library of fonts that you can use. So for this tutorial we're gonna use something like um, Robot Condenser. So and we're going to design a quote. And the quote is Follow your dreams, transform your life. So let me start writing here. Follow your And we're going to put it in the center, like so. And then another here, I'll type the word dreams. And we make it fit, you know, so it would look all nice. OK, and then make sure the font, is all of it stays uniform. So it was Rolo It was Rolo Condense. So there it goes. And here color Rolo Condense and you can make it bold or regular. So for this one is regular for the word dreams is gonna be bold. And then we start one more. Follow your dreams. Transform your life. And we change the font here. The font name again. To roll a condense. Make sure it's center. Center in the little text box here. Transform your life. Make sure the entire phrase fits there and make sure the font stays uniform all across our graphic. Make sure it's center. Oh, and this one has an exclamation mark. And we can make this one larger because that's the the point that we want to get across. Follow your dreams. So there it goes. Follow your dreams. And now we can make it, uh, we can uh, add a little twist, make the word a little to the, to the left side, make this word a little to the right side. You know, tilt it a little to put a little zest, a little flavor, if you will. 
Oh, this one could be like that. Okay. There it goes. And then we can add our we can add our website address or you know the name of, of your business. In my case, I'll add my name, my website. Change the font. Now the font for my uh, business name, for my brand, is economical. And I like to center it. And I want to put it at the, at the bottom. So it looks kind of large. And what we're going to do is do a text spacing text spacing see it's easy to read and makes it more clear cleaner if you will so that text size is too small 24 size should be fine and we can make it bold so it's you know stands out and now we can add some uh, boxes. We can put the boxes, the words in boxes. So as you can see, the box is too large and we need to make it fit into the words that we have at the bottom. So for this one, we're gonna put the box in the back of the font of the word. And then the word, it's a little tilted, so we need to tilt the box as well make it fit correctly you know that it's easy to read and to the you know to the point oh and then we can change the the color we can change the color of the ink it could be white and now change the box color for my brand my colors are this so that's my color that's the text color we can change the Yeah, we want to get the box. want to change the color of the box, not the color of the font. See, there it goes. And there's one box. And then we can change the text to all caps, all caps. Now it's too big. We need to make it fit. Now that's too small. Follow your dreams. Make it, you know, give it a little twist so it can fit there just right. It's a little there follow your and now for the word dreams we want the text in white but it's gonna get lost so we will for that we'll do that at the next step so we'll change the color again make it similar to the one before it's similar to the one before and now we make you know fit it to size so it can be the right size for the word dreams and now we need to twist it a little set it in the back you know fit it correctly 
it's a, it's a um, you just have to play with it so it can fit correctly. Now it's too close from here, so we need to make room for it. It looks good now. Now the box is a little too big. Just have to play it until it fits your brand, it fits your message, and it has it looks the way you want it to 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 look. Now this one it's a little the words are a, a li, you know they're stepping over the the line of the color. So I made it a little larger. Okay, so there, it looks like now that's the perfect the perfect um, place to have this word. And we start another one. See, it's just similar to this one. So now we start another box and we do the same, change the colors and the colors are already in our in the memory here and now we just make you know make make it fit to size and we can place it here oops under the word transform we'll set it in the back make it fit the word transform it looks beautiful so now make the side the box the correct size to fit the word there and now we can change the text color to white to be uniform with the rest of it and we need to make one more box and again, we change the colors. Perfect. And now we change the, the size to make fit the word your life. Okay, it's too big. We place it in the back make it fit the word your life it's a bit too large it's a matter of playing with it but it's really easy very simple and fun to do change the font color again because we want it to be uniform there perfect and now this I want to make it a little more, you know, the light, the spacing, I want it to be bigger. Perfect. So it can fit everything here. So now we want to add a background color. We click here, background colors, and we can select anything you like, anything that goes with your brand. So let's see what would look good. And there's also other fonts here, uh, I mean other backgrounds that you can add here and make it look really cool. See it's just uh, based on your brand, based on your imagination, whatever looks good for your brand. You can also add a, a, an image uh, in the background. So for this one we're going to select, before we do anything, we're going to select, um, we're going to make a shadow for each of these boxes so it would look like it's popping out. So here we go again. We get a box. Oh, we're going to select this box. The color is going to be gray. 
and we make it again make the right size it's going to be the size of this box so it can look like it's a shadow and we need to add a little twist make it the right size oh, and place it in the back so there it shows like it's a shadow of the or first box beautiful okay now let's go back and Okay, this is the box that I was using. We select the color, again gray, and make the right size to fit the box. There it is. Now we need to add a little twist, place it correctly. Yeah, that would look like it's uh, a shadow. Perfect. So now we start another one because each of these boxes is going to have a shadow. So again, we play with it, make it fit, add a little twist, you know, twist it until it's, it looks just like the shadow. It's very simple, very easy to use, and you can look like, like a graphic artist if you use this Canva tool. I really like it. Before this, I used to use uh, Photoshop, which is really wonderful. However, when you don't want to deal with all the you know all the layers and learning all that then you can just go the easy way and use Canva see we make it fit the right size there see now it looks like it has a shadow Perfect. Each one of this looks like it has a shadow, like it's popping out. Wonderful. Okay, now we can go back and get a font. That would look good. It, it looks like it's popping out, it's standing out. How about on red? Not so much. Not so much. Red, yellow. It will look good on yellow. It will also look good on this one. For this one, we're going to select this hot yellow. Let me try this one. Oh, it looks good on this one as well. So I'm going to go with the yellow. There you go. And if you want to recreate this one, you can click here on this little tool and it will duplicate it. And then you can change the color to, uh, you know, like the, let's say this is for another social media site or for a different, different uh, blog post that you want to add see you can change it you can customize it or you can change the words here there you go so if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends and anyone who wants to learn about canva how to create your own graphics and we'll see you in the next video thank you